them tonight in the fatal stairwell collapse in Folsom. An attorney for the family of the man killed said today it was, in her words, more reckless than the Berkeley balcony collapse because the apartment complex and the city of Folsom knew about dry rot problems in the stairways long before the collapse. And we now know contractors pulled 19 permits over the past year to repair dry rot and other problems at the Legends at Willow Creek apartment complex. As KCRA 3 investigates, Kevin Oliver found out a city inspector even signed off on dry rot beam repair in the very building where that stairway collapsed last Friday. Almost a year before Shen Yuan was killed when a concrete stairwell he was walking down collapsed, the city of Folsom's building department knew about structural problems at the apartment complex. A check of Folsom's online computer records show contractors have been pulling permits since July of 2014, and building inspectors have visited the property at least three times. One of the permits pulled was for dry rot beam repair in Building 7, where we saw pictures of one stairwell that collapsed last summer. A permit was also pulled for dry rot beam repair in Building 8, where Shen Yuan was killed on Friday. A third permit was pulled for Building 9. All three were inspected by the city after the work was done. Two buildings didn't make it through the first inspection. Building 9 was one of them. It didn't pass because notes say the contractor did not provide city approved plans or have the permit on site at the time of the inspection. What we don't know if the work was done on the exact stairwell where Yuan was killed or if the work was done in another part of the building. We went to Folsom City Hall to get the specific information from the permits about what work was done, but the building department wouldn't let us see the permits today, citing the need for a review by lawyers. City staff also wouldn't talk to us about the city's inspection process. Regardless of the past work, contractors have now gone back in and shored up all of the stairwells in the meantime with extra beams covered in caution tape. Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News. The attorney who represents the family of the victim tells Kevin she thinks the DA should be looking into whether there was criminal negligence in this case.